Battle fans, I'm your host Edmund Joe here, and we're about to do some battles, uh, VGC battles versus uh, Keith. And we got our team from Zach Lemon, who's in the PML group, and he helped us build this. Well, he gave us this team to use because I was not ready for this. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so he has. Uh, he has a pretty interesting team. I, I, didn't, I mean, I don't know what's cool in the VGC era right now. So, mm. all I know is he has water and he's not afraid to use it. So, we're gonna go ahead and bring Torkoal, of course. And I like this combo right here: lead Cinderace Venusaur. Uh, if I need to, weather control with Torkoal and. Gyarados is obviously amazing. Um, is there a Swift Swim Azumarill? That I do not know of. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up right now. Hmm. But obviously this should be an amazing battle. I've done some VGC. I mean, I think Keith is a really good uh, double battler in his own right. So... Who knows how this will turn out until it ends. But basically it's the best of three, uh, 4v4, and we'll just have to see how it plays out. So let's see how it starts. And it's not a Swift Swim Azumarill, I don't know why I thought that, that existed. But okay, so he leads Porygon and Incineroar, and I'm assuming he's going to try to get um, some Trick Room shenanigans going. And obviously he's going to try to fake out Venusaur. So I'm going to go for the high jump kick on Incineroar. And I'm going to switch out here. To Torkoal. Because I'm assuming Trick Room's coming. Okay, so we get Sun up. Incineroar uses Fake Out exactly where I thought he would. Cinderace goes for High Jump Kick. Fighting type is what we turn into. And that should... Oh, that almost knocks it out. And I'm assuming Trick Room here. Yep. Okay, so not very much we could do here with Cinder Ace. <sighs> Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out to Gyarados. And let's go ahead and go for an eruption here. Okay, let's see what happens here. So he's going Politoed. And obviously the drizzle is going to knock out our sun and bring in the rain. I wonder if Porygon gets Weather Ball. But obviously since we bring in Gyarados, we're going to get a boost here. But we have no real advantage except against the Politoed. And we go for Eruption here, which isn't going to do much because we're in the rain. And obviously, Eviolite and Bulky Politoads over there. Alright. So he Thunderbolts into Gyarados, but it's fine because we're AV, Assault Vest. And I'm going to try to knock out that Politoad. And... I'm going to go Venusaur. I'm assuming he's not going to try to Icy Wind since uh, Trick Room is up. And Porygon might outspeed Gyarados, so that might be bad. But we'll see. Okay, so he Thunderbolts into Venusaur, which is interesting. Because you would have thought he would have tried to take out um, Gyarados. And then he Ice Beams into Gyarados. So very strange. Alright. 
So two of his Pokemons have two different berries. And I believe this is the last turn of Trick Room. So I'm just going to go for a Waterfall on the Porygon. But I'm for sure going to go for... You know what, on the off chance he doesn't, let's go ahead and go for another Power Whip. Let's take Politoed out. And let's go for a Sleep Powder. We'll see how this goes. Okay, obviously he hits the Gyarados that time. Ice Beam goes after us. Do we live it? Oh, beautifully. Alright, and then we get a Sleep Powder off and it hits. Beautiful. So Porygon is now asleep. Oh, there's still one more turn of Trick Room. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to bring Torkoal out here. Oof. Let's see. Bring Torkoal. Go for Eruption. And then... Let's go for a Leaf Storm on Politoed. That doesn't quite take out the Politoed, sadly. So I think uh, Venusaur will go down here. Hopefully not. To an Ice Beam. Oh, it hangs on on one. Beautiful. And we go ahead and go for that Leaf Storm. Oh, it missed. That sucks. We're going to go ahead and go for another Eruption. And let's hope this Leaf Storm doesn't miss. Okay, so he takes out Politoed. Goes for Incineroar. Gets to Intimidate, which is useless against us right now. And he has not wasted his Dynamax yet either, I should point out. So, this should take out the Incineroar here. Uh, the Eruption. And it does. So he wants to get his weather back up. And I'm assuming he probably has Kingdra in the back. Alright, this might be a risky play, but we're going to swap Torkoal with Cinderace. And let's just Sludge Bomb Politoed since we're going to be faster. And I don't think he gets uh, Trick Room up here if he does have uh, Kingdra in the back. But we'll see. And Porygon's still fast asleep. Beautiful. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to max knuckle that Porygon. We're going to sludge bomb the Politoed. And we should get game one. Should. Crazier things have happened, right? Nerve-wracking. We hardly know what he's got, but we've thrown the kitchen sink at him, so... This will be interesting. Oh, Polito gets a double protect. Lame. So now we are obviously fighting tight. And we take out that Porygon too. So no more Trick Room. And of course Sludge Bomb doesn't go through because of the Protect, which is lame. 
Okay, so now we have a zoom roll. Huge power of zoom roll. What can possibly go wrong? So we're gonna go ahead and max darkness. No, that's stupid. We're gonna go ahead and max air strength. And we're gonna try to put the zoom roll to sleep on the off chance. I don't know. We're just gonna try to put it to sleep. So obviously he's not going Aqua Jet here, because that wouldn't do him any good. But we're not weak to water moves, because we're not um, fire type at the moment. Okay, helping hand. So Cinderace goes max airstream. We're going to get a speed boost. Venusaur should still go ahead of it, and hopefully we get the sleep, sleep powder off. Because if he targets Cinderace, we'll probably go down here. Alright, beautiful. The zoom rolls fast asleep. And I think that locks in our game one. So we'll just go ahead and go for another max air stream. And a sludge bomb on the Politoed. And that should be game for game one. Should be. What? Oh, okay. So he quit. So game one to us. GG uh, Keith, and we will go ahead and battle round two. And again, thank you, Zach Lemon, for giving us this amazing team to play with. I might be butchering how it actually works, but I'm kind of going off what you said and hyper offense, and that's what I'm doing. Alright, so I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lead Cinderace and Venusaur. Because that did work out very well. And obviously we'll have these two rearing up the end. Hmm. Should I? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing a second time. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So, good luck, have fun, game two, Fat Nana, and we'll see how this goes. It's okay, now he goes slow bro in center war. Okay, attack falls, yada yada yada. So you know what? I'm gonna go Torkoal here. And I'm gonna Gigantamax uh, Venusaur. And I'm gonna go for, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to knock this slow bro out. Let's see what this puppy can do. Or uh, Grass Frog. So, Venusaur pops off. He's probably going to fake out into us thinking we weren't going to do this. Yep. That's fine. Now we get the Max Quake off, and let's see what he does to Slowbro. Ooh, beautiful damage. I wonder if Slowbro is still able to be e No, it's not able. It was never able to be EV Light boosted. I'm an idiot. Anyway, my special defense raises. <laughs> K. 
Okay, restores with the wiki berry, and it goes trick room, of course. So, I'm going to go eruption here, because we should be slower, I mean faster with Torkoal. And I'm going to go for the max um, quake on the Incineroar side. Okay, so he's going big now. So I'm assuming with the slow bro. So this may be bad for us. <laughs> oh no, he's going with the Incineroar. And we just gave him the sun. Oops. But we should be faster. So we'll see. Alright, so slow bro goes down without a problem. The only issue is the Incineroar now. Oh wow. That's a oh trick room is up. Of course. Okay, so at least Venusaur does some good work. So now we know. He's targeting uh that Incineroar whenever well he's trying to get that Incineroar up whenever. Ah, how do you call it? He's trying to get the Incineroar uh, J Dynamax whenever he leads Slowbro. So, good to know, good to know. So, here comes the Drizzle. And what do we do here? Let's just go ahead and go for the Earth Power. And this, this double into this Incineroar. Alright. Earth Power does a decent amount. Max Darkness is gonna hit Torkoal. Interesting. Special Defense falls. So Polito is gonna scold me and should knock me out. Yeah. Okay, so now I see why he did that. Alright, so Gyarados is going to come in and try to help me out a little bit. And I think he still has one more turn of Dynamax. I could be wrong. But we get the Intimidate off, which should help us out a little bit. So I'm going to go for the Earth Power again, because there's no point in protecting. Um, and let's go Power Whip into Politoed. Max Darkness again. Probably goes in Gyarados this time. Yep. And he's probably going to try to take out Torkoal now, so it could be 2v1. Alright. So now I kind of have an idea what I want to do in the next battle. That Polytoad can live a hit. Hiya, Papa Bearer. Alright, so we still have... One more turn of Trick Room. I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. They'll probably knock me out here, though, with the double attack. Yep. And GG game two. Alright, guys. Well, that was a good game, too. We learned some. And that'll take us into game three. Play with the same rules, of course. Alright, now we play the mind games here. Let the battle begin. Uh, 
Alright, so what do we want to do here? Because we got to take out that Slowpoke before he gets Trick Room up. And he gets a free hit with the... He gets a free hit with Fake Out. And it could live on Max Quake. Hmm. Check summary. What does this thing got? Okay. Let's do this. Let's go Rillaboom. Um, Rillaboom. Rillaboom Venusaur. Cinder Ace. And Clefairy. Do I want to do that? Mm. I don't know what to do here. Fuck. I'm going to have to go Gyarados. No, Torkoal. We need the weather. We need weather control. Okay. <sighs> this is do or die time, guys. Do or die time. So now the real question is, is Rillaboom faster or slower than Incineroar? We're about to find out. Okay, so he gets the Intimidate off, which is fine. I'm really hoping Rillaboom's faster. Because we need to get this fake out in the slow, bro. No, oh, you know what? Let's fake out sleep powder in the slow bro. Something's got to hit, right? Okay, so both hit. Beautiful. And he goes Flare Blitz into Rilla... Oh, Venusaur. Alright, so now we obviously don't want to waste um, a Dynamax on this thing. Or Gigantamax, I should say. So let's just double into this slow bro and try to knock it out. Now that it's nice and asleep. So we're gonna go knock off Earth Power and ignore the Incineroar for now. Alright, good damage. Now, knock it out, Rillaboom. Don't let it wake up. Ooh, it just hungs on. The Intimidate was very important. Okay, so it takes out the Venusaur, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. And Slowbro stays asleep, so no trick room for you. Okay, so that means we're going to bring Cinderace in here. And we're going to max knuckle that Incineroar. No questions about it. So knock off Slowbro, because that will for sure knock it out. And then max knuckle the Incineroar, which should also knock it out. Okay, so he's withdrawing Incineroar. Goes into Polytope. Gets the rain up. Beautiful. That's fine. <sighs> I am acting like we're in a good position, but we still don't know yet. 
<laughs> but we will be plus one here. So here we go, change our fighting type. And Polytoad goes down to half health, which is amazing. There we go. Slowbro goes down. Woohoo! Had to be sure. So now we're going to do our priority uh, grass move right into Polytoad. And I'm going to try to knock out the incinerator because we know it's going to try to... What do you call it? You know what? Um, I think... I think they're going to double in to uh, Rillaboom. So we're going to save it in the back. Go Torkoal here. And Max Knuckle into Incineroar. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. That's it. And that way, uh, when Rillaboom comes back in, Grassy Terrain's also renewed. Because we weren't going to get a move off anyway. Incineroar goes down. And the sun should nullify any water type moves. Uh, Poly... Polytoad was gonna do. <sighs> okay, so yeah, it does go for the safe ice beam and want to knock out Rillaboom. Grassy terrain should go away now. No, wait, I think I had a terrain extender on. Okay, so, I mean, we're just going to erupt. Might as well get some uh, damage off. And let's go ahead for a max airstream on Azumarill. Because that's the real threat here. Okay, let's see what he does. I think he goes for a water move to get rain back up. Polytoad goes helping hand, of course. So I think we're we're plus two. And damn. Not even half. So let's just hope Cinderace doesn't get knocked out here. But he might be doubling in. Sad to see. Oh, wait, no, he helping hand. That's beautiful. Thank you for that. And you're welcome for that, I guess. All right, here's the tricky part. He obviously is going to try to knock us out here. So. Let's go for Earth Power on Azumarill. And let's go for Bounce. The waste of turn. So that was his first turn of Dynamax. Of course. Cinderace spring up because we're faster. So Ice Beam goes into Torkoal. I wonder if he doubles attacks into Torkoal, assuming I would do that. Okay, so he max still spikes, which is interesting. Oh no, he's trying to boost his defenses. He knew he wasn't going to get the hit. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. So let's go for Earth Power again on Azumarill. Because, I mean, that's the best we got. I'm surprised they didn't soon go Scold. But I guess he wanted to make sure he got that defense boost. Since we are plus two. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. And I missed. How whack. So Cinderace goes down. Damn it. We might have lost right there just because of that. Alright. He gets another defense buff. Which I don't get why he's doing that. I think the next uh... hmm I'm not sure grass surge pops up though and we're gonna do our priority grass move because I think that's what it does that uh, grassy surge Oh, grassy slide. Okay, so Torkoal, go ahead and hit Poly. No, hit Azumarill. And I'm going to hit Politoed with this. And either way, this is coming down real down to the wire. So he doesn't die. Aqua Jet goes into Rillaboom. Interesting. Lost some of his HP. Ice Beam's into Rillaboom. I guess he wanted to make sure he got the death. Oh, bulky Rillaboom. And Earth Power goes into Zoomerol. And I think we clinched the win with that. All we got to do is Grassy Slide again. And we are golden, baby. This Rillaboom is amazing. It's like a truck and takes hits like a tank. And that is GG to Keith. Alright guys, we won our first round of the VGC tournament. Um, be looking forward to these videos every time they come out. And see you guys next time.